Q&A one year post breast augmentation. I get questions still to this day if I've gotten my boobs done and yes, I've blatantly put it out there that I have. I also have a vlog and my three month and six month um, like Q&As up on my YouTube as well. So I'll leave them listed down below for you guys. So I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to hear what I have to say one year later, like my scarring, how I'm going and if I'm happy with them and all that stuff. So I decided to wear a bikini today to show you guys what they look like. These are my boobs. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was around this time last year, like around March. Um, so yeah, this is what they look like. The first three months straight after surgery, they did sit up quite high, um, but I did get high profile just because I had to get a lift as well because my boobs were really, really saggy from excess skin from my 20 kilo weight loss so i did get them quite high profile so they do sit quite high on it on their own like just when i don't have a bra on which is what i wanted like i didn't want them teardrop or natural sort of looking like they still do look natural um but yeah i just thought like you know i want my boobs to look good i don't want to be constantly wearing like a bra even though I always wear a crop top like even to bed still to this day and that isn't really what they like they didn't say you have to wear a crop top every, like 24 hours a day but I just feel comfortable wearing crop tops bralettes or even like tops like this um, just for extra support um, I just feel yeah comfortable sleeping in um, bralettes or crop tops my favorite ones are the sasky ones and the lounge underwear crops so that's what i wear to bed but that's just like off topic of course um so my most popular question that i got is are you happy with them yes very very happy with them um i did freak out like because i hadn't really dropped that much after the three month mark but i just knew like it did take a full year for them to completely settle into your body and yeah they just look really nice and natural now which is what i wanted i didn't want the fake look i didn't want people to look at me and be like she's got fake boobs i know at the start it may have looked really obvious but now i really like how they look so yeah my vision was for them to look good but natural in a way so i don't know you guys can have your own opinions if you think they look unnatural but to me I think they look quite natural and yeah, I just like the shape, the size and yeah, I love them. Um, for those that are asking the size, I got 375cc and I did get a lift as well as implants and I got them done here on the Gold Coast. Would I get them again? So they do recommend like every 15 to 20 years, I think, to change your implants and yes, I will do it again because one, I have to and it wasn't too bad after like post surgery like i've like the first two days was pretty tough but now that i know what it's gonna feel like i can kind of like brace myself for that um and i don't think it'll be as bad as my first time but yeah i wouldn't say i had like a really bad experience in my recovery or anything like that like it was fine like i did expect a lot of things that happened um but yeah the one thing that I would change if I was to go back is doing my post-surgery exercises. So like doing all these ones and stuff, I was just so stubborn. I was like, no, it hurts. But he said, the more I do my exercises and stuff, the less it's going to hurt and the quicker it's going to recover. So I found out the hard way. I could have like sped up my recovery process a little bit and not be in, in as much pain if I did start off with my exercises like the day after the surgery, which I didn't. I was just like this in bed. I was like, no, not moving. I was so stubborn. Um, but yeah, I do wish I did all of my like exercises and like massages and stuff, but I just did not. So yeah, lesson learned. Definitely we'll be doing that next time. <laughs> Has there been any times where you've regretted your surgery? No. Well, not yet. Um, I'm really happy with them. I feel like my tops fit nicer. I don't have to wear a bra. Um, no, I don't regret it at all. I obviously got it for a reason. I was really unhappy with how they looked um, post weight loss. 
um, and it wasn't actually something that crossed my mind like I wouldn't have ever thought I'd got one two years ago um, because my boobs were relatively big and I liked them back then when I was heavier but of course my boobs just absolutely deflated um, throughout my weight loss journey and yeah now I'm really happy with them and I'm happy with my decision did I ever get any post surgery infections no I did not have any infections post surgery thank god um, that whole breast implant illness which was actually the next question um, one of you guys asked if I'm worried about the whole breast like implant illness going around because of Carissa's video um, like it was at the back of my mind because I'd gotten them done after I seen her video so I was a little bit concerned not gonna lie I was like fuck like what if my body just completely rejects them but now like I'm really glad that I did see that video so I can like look out for signs and symptoms like she described in her video like I have had no pain or discomfort redness nothing unusual has like come up since I've gotten them done but I know like the first sign I ever get anything unusual I will go straight to my surgeon or a doctor I'm really glad that she put it out there for those girls um, that do have their boobs done to check for those symptoms and go to the doctor or your surgeon early like earlier than she did um, to prevent what happened to her because I think she was like dealing with it for a few months and her skin went really bad and she was just run down she had no energy and it was just horrible I watched the video and I almost cried for her but um, I do know another lady um, online that I follow she's actually a low-carb Instagrammer she actually had the breast plant illness and had to get hers removed and she said she suffered quite a lot during that time and she's only just recovered now like two years later um post-surgery so yeah definitely it, it is in the back of my mind to this day and as i said before if i have any suspicions or if something doesn't feel right i'm just going to go straight to the doctor and that can be just for anything like if you don't feel 100 percent, you don't have to have gotten your boobs done for this but if you don't feel 100 percent, like in your body for a few days go see a doctor or someone because early treatment is better than obviously late treatment when it's too late um, so don't be afraid to like tell your mom or go to the doctor um, if you don't feel okay if something's been bothering you for a few days or a few weeks just go to the doctor because even if it is nothing like at least you know you're okay rather than putting up with it because I know I've done that before like, instead of like putting up with it and being like oh yeah I'm fine and brushing it off it could be something serious so I just wanted to put awareness out there that it is okay to go to your mom to your family if if you think even if it's like the smallest thing because you just never know these days so I just wanted to quickly touch on that um did you want to get a boob job because you lost all the weight and had extra skin yes so due to my 20 kilo weight loss I did have quite a, like most of my boob was actually made up of excess skin i used to call them skin tits and make a joke about them because they were literally skin sacks like it was so messed up like there was so much skin that it would actually fill a double d cup but my actual tissue in my breast was an a cup so just imagine all of that excess skin because my boobs were massive they were like double d e's like when i was at my heaviest around 85 kilos i had like double d e's i was like i still have my bras they're like e cup playboy bras and they're, they're a little bit too big for me now because i am like i would say a small double d i'm not like a massive double d another one about breast implant illness have you felt any signs no thankfully not yet or never <laughs> um yeah and as i said before as soon as i do i'm straight to the doctor or the surgeon i would not drag it out or put up with it um because you just never know so i have a question about my scars if i still have them so i did ask him about scars pre-surgery and he said it takes about a year for them to come to go transparent so they were red i would have to say they were quite pinky red for like three to four months and then they started to go transparent I don't know if this is like a little bit too much information, but underneath here, that is, I don't know if you can see it, but it is, that is where they went 
under the muscle to put in my implant. Um, so I've got a scar here and then I have a scar down here um, because I got a nipple realignment because my nipples weren't in proportion pre-surgery. They were literally like pointing down. Um, yeah, so he had to actually like cut around my nipple and like replace it. Um, so I have a scar there and a scar there and it has definitely... Um, it looks a lot better now. Like it, I can still see it. Um, it's like a transparent um, scar from there to there, but I knew that before. Um, but yeah, I did use some bio oil. Is it bio oil and some eucalyptus oil? Um, and I just massage that. And even now, I still do. Um, but yeah, it's hardly really visible anymore. And even around the nipple, because he obviously had to cut that, it's just transparent. So it's like a really light white. Um, but other than that, like, no one's going to see me naked except for myself. So I don't really care. Oh, and Peter. But like, I'm sure he doesn't care. <laughs> Do they feel heavy or unnatural? Okay, not going to lie. The first day after I got them done, I was like, oh, I felt like I had two fucking massive rocks on my chest. It felt so tight. And I was like... Is this what it feels like? Like, I was just thinking, like, I don't want to feel like this, like, every day. I was freaking out. I was like, this feels so uncomfortable, so unnatural, so weird. But obviously, it's because I wasn't used to it. Um, and now they just feel like they're a part of me. They've been with me for years. Like, I, like I don't ever, you know, like, I don't know that they're on my chest, if you know what I mean. So, it doesn't not feel unnatural. Like, it feels completely fine and it just feels like it's just been a part of my body so yeah it it feels fine but yeah first day post all i was like what the fuck has he done <laughs> do your boobs change size slash perkiness when your when your weight fluctuates um no to be honest so i got my boobs on when i was around 70 kilos and now i'm 66 they still look the same to me. Obviously, back then when I first got them done, they looked a lot more high profile and like, bam, I got my boobs done. And now that they've kind of dropped into place, they look a lot more natural and they just look more in proportion. Like, I feel like they're the perfect size for my body. I'm not a really petite person, so I feel like I could have gotten away with bigger, but I'm glad I didn't because he said, um, even if I did drop say 10 kilos he said they would look a little bit strange against your chest but we decided to go for this size because it just it just looks well proportioned to my waist my this area and yeah i'm really happy with the size we went for but yeah i was honestly considering going bigger and i'm so so glad that i didn't because i just think they look perfect the size that they are now have I found that they've sagged at all? I wouldn't say sagged, but they've definitely dropped, but that was normal. I know, I knew that from when I got my surgery. He said, over time, they will drop. Um, so that's why I do tend to wear like crops. I always have them supported. I never have no bra on. Um, I'm always wearing like a tight fitted singlet or I'm wearing swimmers or I'm wearing like a bralette or a crop top like 24 7 to avoid that from happening but no I haven't really found any signs of like sagginess or whatever they're still quite perky so yeah are you going to get them redone when you have kids um so it was actually pretty good timing so in about well now nine or nine years from now I have to get them redone again and hopefully by that time I have kids. So I'll just wait, obviously, until I have kids to get them done. Um, I might wait until I'm finished having kids and when I know I'm not going to have another one just so I don't get them done, have a boob job, uh, get them redone again and then have another kid because apparently they just don't feel and look the same after you've had children. So, yeah, I think the next time I'll get them done is when I'm completely finished with my kids, whether that's two or three kids, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I will definitely get them redone after I have kids. Do you find it harder to work out with your implants? So I had to go pretty light the first three months 
when I was exercising, I didn't go to F45 for about two months. So no high intensity weightlifting or training. I was just doing walks. Um, so I just go on the treadmill for like an hour or so each day. Um, I just kept my fitness and my exercise down to a minimum because I really wanted myself to recover as well as I could. I didn't want to injure myself or ruin the recovery process. So I did, like I was very, very lightly exercising um, for the first two months. Three months post, I started going to F45 again, but I was not lifting at all. I was just doing mainly body weight exercises. Um, I was just doing mainly like lower body, so like legs and stuff, but when it came to like upper body, I would like pick up like one kilo or two kilo dumbbells, just like really, really light. And I did that for a few months actually. Um, I just wanted like my recovery to be as good as possible. And he did say like, take it easy for the first couple of months. Like don't go lifting heavy, don't go squatting and stuff. Don't go doing push-ups um, for at least six months. So I, you know, I stuck with that and it, it was very hard and frustrating at times because I really, really just wanted to like do some push-ups, do chest exercises, but I didn't. Um, and then uh, like around this, I would say five or uh, four or five month mark, I would really slowly start building up my weights again to what I am now. So I'm lifting as heavy as I was before my surgery now. So yeah, I did take it easy for a while um, and I just feel like I'm so glad that I did that because I would be the one to not listen to a doctor and do my own thing and probably hurt myself so I'm actually really glad that I stuck to that um, and I also stuck to wearing my compression bra for the first three months and to be honest that is literally the most comfortable bra I have ever worn in my life I still sometimes wear them when all of my crops are in the wash I still have them um, they're so comfy so yeah I had to wear them for the first three months as well when I work out do I wear a sports bra with padding no so every time I buy a new sports bra I always take the padding out because I feel like I don't need them they just make them look even higher and more unnatural when I have them. So yeah, I definitely take the um, pads out of the sports bra. Did I get any stretch marks around the six month mark? If so, what did you put on them? So as I said, I was using bio oil and um, eucalyptus oil and I was using that pre-surgery as well. Just I had I did some research online and a lot of people said that they use that um, before the surgery. So I did that for like a week before. But like I do have a little bit. You can't really tell because I have a tan on. But in some lights you can see a few stretch marks here. Um, mainly here. I'm not sure if the camera is really picking up on it. Um, but yeah, not excessively and thank God for that. I'm, I'm really lucky. And I think putting that oil on before really did help the stretch mark. So I would highly recommend that. Are you still happy with the size of them with your weight loss? By the way, I think you look bomb. Thanks girl. Um, yeah, 100% happy with the size. I'm so glad I didn't go bigger and it, it does make me feel more confident, like wearing tops that I would have never thought I could wear with my old boobs. But yeah, I can wear like tops that you don't need to wear a bra with them because I found that I had to wear a bra with every single thing I wore when I had my old boobs um, just because they would literally just sag to the floor. Like I had to have some sort of support, but now I can basically wear any top I want. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, I think I've covered like majority of the questions. If I missed one of your questions, or if you've thought of something else that I haven't covered, then let me know in the comments down below. Leave a comment and I will spend a few hours replying to them. And don't forget to check out my three and six month boob job question and answer videos down below because I did answer some other questions that I didn't cover today, like my surgeon um, and just like stuff that I ate, what I did for those three or four days, I think. Um, what else did I touch on last videos? Um, like my recovery time, my pain and all of that. So if you're interested in like the three and six month post op videos, then I'll leave them in the description box down below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.